Hello there, you're watching Dansky, the place to be to develop your creative skills and grow as a designer. In this tutorial, we're going to learn how to use the Blend tool in Adobe Illustrator. So we've created a new document and we're going to start by selecting the Ellipse tool. And we're just going to zoom in a bit closer and left click and hold shift to draw a very small circle. Now what we're going to do is then select this, go up to edit down to copy, edit, paste in place, and then holding shift, drag this straight to the right. And you want to position these on both the left and the right side of your artboard. Now these are both the same size at the moment. If we zoom in on the left one, we're going to hold shift and alt and scale that down towards the center. This is going to be the smaller of the two circles and the one on the right. Let's select that, hold shift and alt, and we'll scale that up. So this is the larger one. So you should have something that looks like this. Now let's select both of these circles by dragging over them with the mouse. And then we can go up to object, down to blend, and select blend options. Now we're going to be using these in a minute. Make sure that from the drop down you've got specified steps selected. So we'll start with 12 and the orientation. This left one selected, aligned to page, that's absolutely fine. Click OK. And now we're going to select the blend tool itself. And what you can do is mouse over this left circle and you'll see this asterisk symbol appear. So just single left click and then go over to the right one. You'll see a plus symbol appear. So we're going to blend this right shape with the left shape. And if you click that, it will then use those 12 steps that we specified in the dialog box and create all the circles in between. And it will graduate from being the smaller circle up to the larger circle. And what we can do now is we can drag over to select this line and then go back up to object, down to blend, and then select blend options. And we can adjust these settings. So let's change that to 40. and tick the preview box and you'll see that it adds that number of steps into this line and we can increase that even more so let's go 70 yeah something like that I think and if you click OK you've now got the small circle on the left the larger circle on the right and it fills in those 70 steps in between automatically now you can double click on this line and you'll see up here that we've gone inside the isolated blend group. And if I zoom in a bit closer on this left one, I can move this left circle. That's the one we started with originally and it will adjust the spacing to compensate for that. We can even adjust the size so I can bring that down even smaller and it will adjust all of the other steps. So let's just come back out of that and I can do the same with the larger circle on the right. So if I double click on the line, anywhere on that line to go in and I can then make this second circle that we originally created, we'll just make that a bit larger and you'll see that it will adjust all the other 70 steps between those two circles automatically. So we've now got something that looks like this. Now once you're happy with your steps between those two circles, you can select the line, go to object and expand. Leave object and fill selected and click OK. Now you will no longer be able to edit this, so before you go any further, just make sure that you're happy with your line and your circles and that's all cool. If you do want to, you can always just drag a copy down here off the artboard just in case you need to edit it later. So let's go back up and we'll expand that one again. Then we can zoom in a little bit closer. And what we're going to do now is left click on our circles and hold shift and alt and we're going to drag up. This will create a copy. So when we do this, we want to try and keep the spacing between the circles consistent. So this spacing here, 
ideally that is the same on both points so let's just bring that down a little bit and we can use these red squares here as guides and then we're going to drag the top line to the right holding shift and we want to position it so this center anchor point here lines up roughly with the center of this box so we can actually hold shift and drag this little red guide that we've made up and we can see there that, that bottom anchor point is more or less central to the square so once you've positioned these first two lines correctly the next bit is actually quite easy we just select both of these and again we hold shift and alt as we're dragging up you'll see here it's showing where it's going to create our copy and we just want to try and match that same spacing again so something like this and let go and without pressing anything press command D on the Mac or control D on the PC and it will repeat your last action so it will create additional versions on top and you can create as many as you like you can repeat that step as much as you like and it will give us in the end this effect going from smaller circles all the way to the larger circles on the right and there we go that's how we use the blend tool in Adobe Illustrator as always guys please feel free to leave any questions or comments below like this video if you enjoyed it take care and I'll see you next time